Alright, this is Grade 2, Module 2, Lesson 7. And students are going to be measuring uh, a variety of things using standard tools like the a ruler here. And they're going to be using non-standard things like a paper clip. Alright, and that's going to be kind of a cool little thing in this lesson. And let's get started. So, the first question says use a centimeter ruler and paper clips to measure and compare the lengths. So, uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to use our ruler. And remember, we're going to line up our ruler, not so that it m lines up with the edge of the ruler, but so that the zero lines up with the edge of the line. And I'm going to do that, and boy, you know, of course, this is a computer, so my answers are going to be different from the real paper, but the idea is the same, and that's really the point here. Uh, my ruler is showing that this line looks to be about 15 centimeters. So uh, line Z is 15 centimeters, so I could put a 15 right there. And then it says line Z is, and then how many paper clips? So I'm going to take my little paper clip, and I'm going to straighten it out, and I'm going to line it up right here. Now, because I've got a computer and I can do this, check this out. I think I can do this. I think I can click on this, and I can duplicate it, and then I can move it. And then I can duplicate it again, and I can move it. And then I can duplicate it again. Oh, this is so cool. And I can move it, and uh, my answer looks to be about four paper clips. And so it's not exactly, but good enough. So it's four paper clips. And then the question says, line Z... Uh, doubled would measure. Okay, so if we were to have two of these line Z's, the first question is how many paper clips would that be? Well, four plus another four is eight paper clips, and 15 plus another 15. Now, as your second graders, they, there's a lot of ways they could probably add that in their head. 10 plus 10 is 20, 5 and 5 is another 10, so that's 30 centimeters long. So on this problem, we don't need uh, a centimeter ruler uh, or a meter ruler, but if we have one, students are able to use it, and they might help them a little bit. But let's start with this. It says line X is 1 meter long, and then line Y is 89 centimeters. And so it sounds like, you know, if you look at just the number 1, versus 89. Well, 1 sounds like it's smaller than 89. Well, it is, until you look at the units, because this is all about the units. So, 1 meter versus 89 centimeters. So, that's what we're really going to compare. So, they're helping us. They say line X is how many centimeters? Well, 1 meter, and by now students have looked at the meter stick, they've compared with centimeters, they, we want them to know by now that that is 100 centimeters. We want them to know by heart. We don't really want them to still be looking at a meter stick, but that's okay if they do. Uh, so it's 100 centimeters. So now the question is, well, which line is longer? Now it's easy for us to see that 100 centimeters versus 89 centimeters, it's easy to see that line X is longer. Now the tricky thing is, how much longer? Well, this is where uh, we could use subtraction if we want. We could do 100 minus 89 and do the math, and we would get 11. Another idea is let them use the meter stick. And so here's your meter stick. Here's 100 on our meter stick. Here's 89 on our meter stick. And we could let the kids count up. Well, if you add 1 centimeter, that puts you at 90. You add 10 more centimeters, that puts you at 100. So we know that line X is 11 centimeters longer than line Y. And that is Grade 2, Module 2, Lesson 7, using standard rulers and non-standard uh, techniques to measure the lengths.